I, I think that there are huge parallels between uh, London and New York. I think we have to be honest about the complexities around race and technology and how you cite these things. And, and again, not just saying, oh, it would be nice if the local high school had a few internships at Google, but how do you create a real industry partnership where there are expectations around making serious efforts to, to hire people and to think you don't just have to go to Oxford or MIT or Stanford. And, and we've been really spending a lot of time on that in, in some of our industry partnerships works. And it's beginning to bear fruit, but we absolutely need to continue to grow our city, aggressively build housing, aggressively invest in companies and in sectors where people um, can utilize skills in the innovation economy and, and begin to income up, so we need to build less affordable housing. It's uh, both sides of the equation we're trying to tackle at the same time. The, the affordability uh, that we're trying, we're trying to address that at, at City Hall um, for, at a, for a start by redefining what affordability is. Certainly in recent years, the notion that 80% of market rent uh, is, a, is an affordable proposition for, for people in London when the market has so run away with itself um, is, is, is not a credible answer. In, in 2019, I hope we have a whole new blueprint for, for London that actually starts looking at the way we operate and shift that, uh, use that to inform how we spatially develop uh, the capital.